Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Mac and T Show Podcast. Here are your hosts, Brian McKay and T. David. What time is it? It's time for the Mac and T Show. What time is it? I said it's time for the Mac and T Show. Welcome back to the Mac and T Show podcast. Uh, T, if I could have the floor for a moment. Oh, you, you got it. You got it, brother. Okay. Thank you. Yes, uh, I must apologize, dear people. We, uh, you know, we usually record on Mondays, and yesterday I had every intention of, of recording. And uh, Sunday evening, I had um, a multitude of trouble in um, putting myself to sleep. And it got to a point where it was about an hour before I usually wake up on Mondays to get ready to record. And I got to feeling a little drowsy, so I went ahead and set my alarm. I said, I'll just give me a quick hour in. Well, I set my alarm for the usual time, but it was for a p.m. instead of a.m. So. Did you get up yesterday evening? I did not. I woke oh. up uh, three hours later than I normally would have. And no, I'm talking about that 4 p.m. Did it go off? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you no, wake I, up at four thirty? No, I wound up turning it off once I realized my mistake. Cause I woke up and it was light outside, and I said, "Oh, got a couple of messages from T." Um, and then, yes, I saw that I had to, y'all. I tried. Look, look now, yeah. y'all. I tried. <laughs> so I tried, I, y'all. I I tried. <laughs> so yes, so yes, so uh, I take full responsibility for. <laughs> Missing um, the episode for missing the, the record date, it, I take full responsibility. It was China's fault. That's hilarious. <laughs> they, uh, they, they, the, well, these iPhones are made in China, so oh, it's all they uh, found. Look, yeah. look. <laughs> they sent this. They sent this uh, Wuhan flu over here. This uh, coronavirus. Look, I, I'm just making it everything. Anyway. Yes, in all seriousness, I apologize to you, but we're here today, we're ready to roll, and I'm kicking it off with something that uh, usually, if we kick off with chanting and ranting, it's usually T, that uh, is getting up on her soapbox, but I, I this morning, in getting up on my It's chatting and ranting. First, before I start ranting. Oh, let me let me just preface it by saying uh, a shout out to the uh, customer service people at Bissell. Yeah, shout out. Yes, yes, they we appreciate uh, all y'all efforts. Yes, Francis and and and, and yesterday's uh, Miss Susie, they they took care oh, of they Ms. took Susie. care of your boy. Nice. Yeah, they took care of your boy. They uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll just go ahead and start it with that. So. Bissell, T uh, had asked me to help her out in, in in procuring some different things from this company uh, for her own personal use. And usually, I, if any time T had asked me to help her with something like this, it's no problem. I just pop in her shipping date, whatnot, have it all sent to her. Everything's good and popping. Well, on this fine day, which was about a week and a half ago now, I uh, sent it. I, you know, I, I did all the work, got all the everything that needs to be purchased, and wound up sending it to my house. Did not realize I had done so until it arrived at my doorsteps. And so I started trying to figure out ways to try and. Uh, you know, can I send it back to Bissell and have them resend it to T's uh, domicile? And yeah, so I get on, get get to going back and forth with the people at Bissell. Now, the first person I spoke to was Paolo, and Paolo is clearly not from this country, but usually when you talk to customer service representatives, they are not. So 
he was having a hard time understanding me. And yeah, so but we finally got it worked out. Wound up, I had to go and just run, send the boxes that came to my house to tea myself, which was always I knew was a possibility. But, you know, you never know unless you ask. So I had to find out first if I could get it sent up there. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That, the vessel problem, it, it took care of itself. And, uh, you know, we got some trinkets for our troubles. We'll just call it that. <laughs> but my chanting and ranting. Uh, FedEx. Oh, no. I'm 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 fed up. I'm I'm bamboozled. I'm 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 at I'm at my my wits end, as they say. I have tried to reason with FedEx delivery down here. I've tried. <clears throat> excuse me. I've tried so hard. So I have at my home down here. I have a a back side to the house that's fenced in. And, you know, we, we park a few cars out there, but it's not the front door. And I have tried so hard. FedEx, Amazon is never a problem. And I think Amazon actually likes messing with the dogs, so why he comes to the front door all the time. <laughs> so, but FedEx is always an issue. They always, they, they'll they'll set it, like, it's just any old way back there. And I always, I try to get them, I, I'll, put, I'll put on the FedEx app. You know, when I see a delivery coming, I say, you know, deliver from the front door or whatever. And and I actually put on there, it's the one in the front of the house. I, I've gotten to that point with them. I've been a smart aleck. So, anyway, um, two shipments ago, I had it delivered. Uh, FedEx delivered a package. And I said, oh, you know what, that's my last straw. So, I went and bought one of those aluminum signs. It says a big old sign. It says big bold print. This oh, is not a delivery area. Please deliver to the front door. Perfect. Real easy to understand. So the next shipment comes in from FedEx. Not only do they deliver it in the same spot they've been delivering, they put it on top of my garbage can back there. Oh. So I reach out to FedEx. I reach out to FedEx through customer service email. I reach out to FedEx through Twitter uh, message reach out to FedEx any way I could find. Have never not, not got one response. So when due uh, to the coronavirus, they busy and they're overwhelmed with all the <laughs> complaints. I ain't I ain't even got that. So <laughs> so when the Bissell mishap happened and and T's uh packages ended up on my back porch, basically, uh, on my, you know in back, back there in my backyard behind the fence. They actually put it directly below the sign this time. It wasn't on the garbage can. It was oh, they being smart. The sign. Uh-huh. So I took a picture of it and I sent it to the email. I sent it to Twitter, uh, FedEx's Twitter account. Nothing. Still no response. So FedEx, I'm here to tell you, y'all on my list. And I ain't got nothing but time. Oh, Lord. I will make it a living nightmare for y'all, and don't think I won't. So try me. Tell your people. And, you know, in second, it should be illegal for delivery. And I understand sometimes out, the delivery source, the delivery driving is outsourced. I understand that. But it should be illegal for delivery drivers to smoke while they're on the job. I'm sorry. I'm I, I, I'm not a smoker. I do not like smoke. I, I, cannot, I I'm not a fan of it. Every time y'all deliver a package, the packages smell like smoke. It's ridiculous. Right. And so if I'm allergic to cigarette smoke, that could be problematic that I got to get these cigarettes. Thank you. Because even the the, resi- the residual smell of it, because it, it lingers. And if they are smoking and they smoking in their car, it's going to be all in the car. Um, Yeah, they don't care. They don't at all. But they that's okay. That's okay. Um, I do. <laughs> right. And it it's... Customer service is just hard. It's hard out here. You when you find good customer service, you be excited about it. Yes. One more one more shout out to Francis and Susie. One more shout out to you. Thank you for the trinkets. We're gonna have to get us one of them applause buttons. You know how yes. to <laughs> I, I got to get a soundboard one, one day. Of yes. the, the, Look, the, the, well we can have the, the, the fans in the stands. I might have to ask Santa for a soundboard for Christmas. <laughs> I might have to find me a cheap one to ask Santa for. 
Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, goodness. All right. But, you I'm know, what? My dad I, I don't have no, no, no boxes to stand on. It's, it's been, I've been, been good. Florida looked like they might get to play. A couple of people got hurt in, in football. Um, yes, there's a couple of injuries. Yeah. Then the, the the chase down. That's a that's an old rebel, ain't it? That ran that that guy that's down. That's right. DK that's an old Metcalf. rebel. Yes. Put on that that four two speed. <laughs> Man, he looked like oh. that down. Uh, they had so many different little things making like making light of memes of him. Yes, it, it was ridiculous. Man, I mean, he, it, it like he's there. He said he stole the Lord's supper. Go get him. He just took off running. <laughs> he he ought to get every award for his commitment to uh yeah. to his team because that he right there down. that when you know when we say you hawked him down he hawked him down yes even Buddha Baker uh, admitted that he got hawked <laughs> yeah he hawked <laughs> on him down. on Twitter yes mm. that was big time uh uh-huh. other than that I really don't have anything to talk about with football you know like you said Florida's coming back this week Ole Miss hopefully get him a win in Vanderbilt. Lord, they should uh, let me shut up because then they go down there and lose. Let me shut up. It could happen because I'm our defense is god awful. So, I, I'm I'm so the way they lost number people. Okay, now y'all, you don't got me wired up. No, here we go. I know he's gonna get it. I know he's gonna get it. Why not just take the three points? Now, I don't know how that's gonna change the game, but don't just take your three points when uh Kiffin, you know, he ain't kicked the field goal and then they didn't get it. That was uh-huh. it, a fourth down. Like take the three points, put the pressure back on them, and be like, okay, we only up four, whatever it was, and that three points could have made a difference in how you would have had to play the rest of that game. Instead of being greedy, you know your defense can't stop nobody. You get points when you can, um, but for some reason you just be like, why y'all just take the field goal? <sighs> that defense yeah. is atrocious. Yeah, it's bad. It's it's, it's, <laughs> it's so bad. I I just you know I'm just going to enjoy the offense because the offense is nice. Yeah, and we, the defense is so bad. You just yeah. don't even want to look at. It. I looked at the highlights though because I was like, let me see how they lost this game. Then they were winning. And I was like, how did they lose this game? And then they gave up like a fifty or something, sixty yard pass at the. I was like, are you serious? Yeah, see, that's everybody's it's talking about. That- everybody's talking about the. Uh, the muffed kick that the Auburn kid, you know, he t- whether right. he touched the ball or not on the kickoff, and no. and and the, the referee was already waving for it to be a touchback and all that stuff. And the SEC has come out and you know basically told the coaches that yeah we screwed up, but but y'all can't say anything in the media. And of course Kiffin said things in the media, and he got fined twenty five thousand yesterday. Everybody's making it out to be that you know that would have no. won us the game. It wouldn't. It, it, there's no. There's Don't no give up a sixty that. yard pass. <laughs> there's no guarantee because they could have easily come right back and scored on the very next possession because we were not stopping them. So there's so no sad. guarantee. Yes. So yeah. Know. So there's that. All right. Uh, you ready to? Jump into our first class. I, I I am first class. I'm so excited for this, people. We are going to do our first class of the Mag and T Shows NBA Hall of Fame. Um, I figure we'll just go back and forth and just check them off our, on our list as we go. Oh, my list in my head, but go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to propose Magic Johnson. Irving Magic Johnson. <laughs> yes, and then you know I'll easily go back, back uh, combat that with Michael Jordan. So that that was going to be. Oh, one well, of two oh I thought we were going to agree or disagree on it. Oh, uh, we do you you oh, concur? I, 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 I got to yes. get in. Yeah, okay. Matt Magic. That's what I, I knew that one and two was going to be easy for us. So it's okay. going to be no discussion. I concur. Matt, Michael can get in on the first battle. I, I okay. would like to propose uh, Lou Alcindor. Oh, I meant Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> Kareem, yes. Okay, well, I'll throw in after that. I'll throw in, uh, since I knew you weren't going to put him third because you just, your Laker, your Laker fandom just wouldn't let you do it. I'm gonna well, I don't think that third. I have him in an order. I'm just calling them out because I, I, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I, I got you. I don't have him in the order. So my next one I'll throw out there is Larry Bird. 
Larry. Okay, well, do we know Larry's middle name? <laughs> I was just about to say it, okay, but well, my mind wouldn't let me do it. Larry, I concur. Larry, Larry gonna make he make he make Larry it. Joe Bird. I knew Larry Joe. Joe. I Larry knew Joe. Joe. Uh, yes. I would like to propose Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain. <laughs> is this a? Is it a? Um, <laughs> is mine going in a certain direction? Do it seem like it's going in a certain direction? <laughs> it's a lot of purple and gold. That's all I'm going to say to you. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you could keep going purple and gold if you wanted to. Don't you worry. <laughs> that's fine. Since I know that that's coming, I'll just go ahead and, and I'll throw another green and white out there and get mm. Mr. Bill Russell, Mr. 11 Championships. Bill, yes. William. Is his name William? Look, William yeah, Russell. Yeah. We, we are, yes, I concur. William Russell. Um, okay, I was going with a different person, but since we went to a throwback, I, I would go to Jerry West that could never beat William. <laughs> the logo. The logo. The logo. Yeah. He could play. Good. They just could never beat Boston. He went like to 10, 11 championships and won one. So they need People. to get off LeBron, but that's not, we not that. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. People, since she she clearly has a thing going, I'm going to bypass the next two purple and gold on my list because I know she's going to say them. So <laughs> I'll go on and put Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem, okay. My, yes. The dream, dream shaking it. Um, I would like to propose Kobe Bean Bryant. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm awful, okay. but I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. So, keeping with that theme of letting T throw her purple and gold, I will put up Mr. Tim Duncan. Okay, I can roll with that. I can roll with Timothy. Uh, I would like to propose Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Why is this happening? Mm, okay. Oh, Lord. Well, then I will put his mentor. Since you're going with Shaq, I'll put his mentor and go Julius the doctor. The doctor Irving. Yes. Um. Go ahead, find you another purple and gold. If I you would can. like to propose <laughs> Elgin Baylor. <laughs> <I knew> you. <laughs> I'm so messy. Oh, that I can't. I just can't. Elgin that Baylor. So Lord, messy. have mercy. So oh. yes. Okay. Well, then I will go. With the big old Oscar, Oscar, Robertson. Oscar. I, okay, what number we on? Because I feel like we probably at twenty five. <laughs> we we are at that would have been thirteen. We are at fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I am going to propose uh, little Isaiah Thomas. The first, the real Isaiah Thomas, <laughs> not the uh, uh, other guy. The original. The original. Okay, well, keeping in theme of small and diminutive uh, scores, I will take Allen Iverson. AI. All right. I like it. Mm. I like it. AI. Um, so some of these started to be a struggle just because. Here we are. Yes. <laughs> just because. Uh, I am going to propose, even though I didn't like him when he played, um, Kevin McHale. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kevin McHale. Okay, I'm keeping in the theme of power forwards. I will uh, bring in Sir Charles, Mr. Charles Barkley. I object, Your Honor. I, I <laughs> your Honor, it. I object. I knew when we got to him, you would. Your Honor. Okay, he can stay. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18. So we got... I, I would like to propose George Mikan of the Minneapolis Lakers. George <laughs> Mikan. She even went all the way back. 1950s, yes, I, I did. If when you got a when you got a drill named after you, you know you have to make the. He won championships too, but yes. the Mike and Drill. Another one talking. who who did not win any championships in his time. Oh Lord, I'm Jackie, your but, honor. <laughs> but your honor, 
LeBron second all time in leading scoring until LeBron overtakes him in the coming days and coming games. <laughs> but Carl Malone. Oh, I object for real. Mm-hmm. I object. Carl Malone? Yes. So are we not doing any more old heads? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they, they, they can come on our second. Uh, they can come we, on another ballot. They, they I, I was just on. like, Lord, some of these people gonna be like, what? Um, At okay. This point, Carl, 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 he not old to us, but he he gonna be old to people that's look, young, younger visit, younger listeners to this show. <laughs> well, yeah, they they may not know who he is. So that um, is twenty. So we got five more. Um. Point. I would like to propose uh I hate Koozie. <laughs> Bob Koozie. My 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 I'm trying to get I, these I old see what heads. you're doing. I'm trying I see to get what you're doing. Yeah, you're trying to get the old heads out the way. That's fine. I can't just have them none of them on the ballot. That's fine. I'll help you out. Elvin Hayes. Okay. Elvin. Um I don't I'm not gonna put him because I, I don't know if he should make the first ballot. Uh how many what number is that? That's twenty two, so we have three more. I am going to go with unfortunately he didn't win championship. Oh um No, I won't put him since he ain't won the championship yet. I'm gonna go to some people that have. Johnny Hapleschek steals the ball. Johnny Hapleschek oh, steals the ball. <laughs> John, Mister Hapleschek steals the ball. Wow. My, she done gone from purple and gold to green and white on the last couple. Well, the thing is, if you look at, you know. 35 plus championships. How can they not be <laughs> combined? Mm-hmm. Like ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm 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 gonna let you because I feel like he has to be on a first ballot. And since you got a picture with him, I'm gonna let you hope. The Iceman take- cometh. <laughs> yes. So so Jer- George Gervin, I'll let you The Iceman coming. Yes. I'll let you get the last one, but I'm gonna pick him for you. The Iceman. Um and, uh, number 25. I I need I didn't look there's up. Some, his there's some there's some huge names as I'm looking here. I didn't look up his stats. Um Hold on, let me look at one thing before I put him on here. Because if he don't have this one thing, I can't put him on first ballot. I must have been asleep putting this this order. I told you the order was was iffy on mine. I'm looking well, at my I order. Ain't, they ain't, they, they, they're clearly not an order because this this is ridiculous. <laughs> I I just um thought all the players I like is down there. Me too. I that, just, it, it, I don't after, even know if that count. How you supposed to do after it? After like the after like my top five, I just started putting down names. <laughs> as, as I thought about him, because I got Bernard King way down here, and he know he better than that. Um, but see, the thing is, it's not really an order. If 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 um uh, if the NBA had done his job, we wouldn't even be here. Correct. Okay, so I'm going with Walt Frazier. Walt, yes. From wow. New York. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so. People for to recap our first twenty five on the on the for our first class of twenty five for the NBA Hall of Fame the Mac and T shows NBA Hall of Fame Magic Johnson Michael Jordan Larry Joe Bird Kareem Abdul Jabbar Bill Russell Kobe Bean Shaquille O'Neal Tim Duncan Hakeem Olajuwon Julius the Doctor Irvin the big old Oscar Robinson, Allen Iverson, Wilt Chamberlain, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Kevin McHale, George Mikan, Bob Cousy, John Havlicek steals the ball, 
Carl Malone, Isaiah Thomas, Elvin Hayes, the Iceman, George Gervin, Ice and Man Mr. Cook. Walt Frazier. That is your first class. Let it be. Let the debate begin because I know somebody going to have something oh, to say. So plenty of people got something to say. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got to say. Shut up. Make your own and, ballot. I mean, go find you a friend and, and make you a, a ballot then. And you can reach T at DMAC <laughs> and, and letter in T show at gmail.com with all your hate mail. <laughs> yeah. Because Charles Barkley, he would have been on. They'd have been like, watch out. Mm -mm. He ain't, you know he ain't make my first ballot because he ain't win no championship. That's Let me only, explain. Let me I was explain trying to people. get people that won a championship. He was good. Let me he ain't explain. Win nothing. Speaking of Charles, let me explain why he made my why he made my yeah. Let's this let's, let's let the people know. It's it, and I and I will I will cop to complete recency bias. I watched yesterday on NBA TV. I watched three or four games of the 1993 NBA playoffs where Charles just lost his mind coming off the 92 Olympics where he was the leading scorer on the Olympic team and he had such a good showing in Barcelona. And then 92, 93, he won the NBA MVP. Well, in these playoffs, he was just unstoppable. Yo, I, mean, I would I like him. to object again. Can I oh put, my, can, oh I'm my. appealing. Oh can my. I make an appeal to the courts? Go, go for it. I would like to appeal and replace him with Moses Malone. That, <laughs> that's, a, that's my appeal. Since he didn't win the championship, I feel like most of the people on our thing won one. That's why I didn't pick, like, some other people. I, we'll do our second I, round later. I uh. That's why you know he what? didn't make it on my first go. I will let him. I, I will let that. I will let that be the case. I will take him. We appeal. Remove, the appeal work. The appeal work. We will remove <laughs> Charles Barkley from our first ballot, and then we will replace him with Mr. Moses Malone. So now you're on. I like. I have two more objections I that knew. we. Let me just erase Carl Malone. And, and, uh, yes! <laughs> there you go! I'll remove Carl from first ballot. I guess I can remove Alan Iverson from first ballot since he didn't win no championship yeah, either. He didn't. Um, so who are we putting in Carl's place? Carl Malone, we can put in... Um, I mean, technically Bill Walton won a championship, but he was broke down and and... Uh, definitely a role player on that Celtic team. Uh, right. Um, I don't think Pistol he, Pete no, never won no like championship. Bob Pettit. Won one. Bob Pettit them, wow. Them, no, he might. Yeah, I, think I, don't, he I don't know if he did. He, he might have. He might he not might. have. He might. <laughs> let's let's Google Mr. Pettit. Maybe I could. Bob Pettit. Apologize. Yeah, I changed my mind. I saw that his shooting form awful. I can't. Yeah, um, it was not. It was not pretty. Um, I, I don't want him on the team right now. He can wait. Uh, NBA champions. Um, this is going. People not going to like this proposal just because it's it's a little bit biased. Mm -hmm. But we got the man with eleven championships. We got the man with six. We got a couple with five. Mm -hmm. But guess who has seven? Who? Robert Ory. I knew you was about to say Robert Ory. Yeah, yeah, you really gonna get some hate mail over him because because but it's not like he went integral and all. Like he actually played, hit some game winners for us, hit some big shots for Houston coming out of Alabama when they won the two times in what ninety eight, ninety nine when Michael was gone, or ninety seven, ninety eight when Michael was gone. Or what, however that went, he won. What was it? Ninety four, ninety five, and then Michael came back in ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. Yeah, so it was ninety four, ninety five. They won. Uh, let the record show. No, you T can't. We we having a discussion. This is appeal <laughs> process. You you got somebody else to offer up? Oh no, I'm just I'm just I uh, just let the record show. T made me remove Charles Barkley and Carl Malone and put Robert They ain't got no championship. You can't make it. And then we so disrespectful. How we leave off Scottie Pippen? We so disrespectful. Yeah, he, we he, so was disrespectful. On, he was on my 25. I just let him. Well, why I, did I, you call his name out? You gonna call out some Carl Malone over him? 
disrespectful, Brian. <laughs> you know, I was on the Laker run. <laughs> what about? What about? I think Scotty what? should take his place. He was Scottie. integral in all of their championships. So we still got another spot to fill, huh? <laughs> what about Willis Reed? For hobbling out there for that one, two seconds? The moment. I think it's, it's the moment for, like, it, 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 and that's why I call his name, because of that one moment. Let me look at Willis's numbers. Let me the man, the man got him a championship doing that. Let's see what Willis out here hobbling out for two seconds and then he ain't do nothing. <laughs> Did Bob McAdoo win the championship? Well, he won two times. We can put him. Come on, get Willis a run. Who knew? He, he I, didn't, won two I, I knew he won the one. I didn't know he got two. Two-time NBA champ, hmm. according to this. Seven All-Star games. He was all defense in six and nine. He's two times. Right. Actually, he got the MVP of the finals. Oh, my. Them two times. Well, Willis is going to be on the list. But he, this, this is not up for discussion on first ballot, but I just need your opinion. What is your opinion on Clyde Drexler? Uh, you know, I like Clyde. He just doesn't pop into my mind when I start thinking, for whatever reason, of all time. Like, he just, he is way down on the list <laughs> when I think of all time. And he, I guess, he could play. I mean, I just don't know why he pops. He's not like he don't like pop right into my head when I say, "Oh, all time NBA greats." Clyde Drexler is way on the list. Down. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Well, to reiterate, here's our first class. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me let me redo the first class: Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, Kobe Bryant. Shaquille O'Neal, Tim Duncan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Julius Irving, Oscar Robinson. Did we remove Allen Iverson? We did. Yes, because he won no championships. Elgin Baylor, Bob Cousy, John Havlicek, Wilt the Stilt, Jerry West, the logo, Scottie Pippen, Isaiah Thomas, Moses Malone, Elvin Hayes, George the Iceman, Durbin, Walt Frazier, Kevin McHale, Willis in the hobble, Reed. Right. And George I came out Mikan. and played two seconds. Yes. That is our top 25. Our first ballot 25 of two of uh, the Mac and T shows, NBA Hall of Fame. And we, and, and I'm horrible, a host, but we didn't even really, we talked about it a little bit last week, but I, I could have at least led with the fact that the reason we did this is because T and I believe that the NBA should have their own Hall of Fame separate. From the basketball hall of fame you know you got your mlb hall of fame you got the nfl doing their thing the uh i mean it, the pro football I hall suspect, of fame it is yeah what it is. i don't know what 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 the nba waiting on the nba deserves to have their own separate hall of fame so yes that's our first ballot do we want to do our next ballot next week yeah that let's let's that that bring the second fun. The second round of <laughs> that should be fun because that's gonna be a big debate there. Yeah, there's plenty of people who can because there's still a bunch of people out there. I bet you with a bunch of championships. I'm gonna have to do some more homework. I I just went off the top of my head of people that I like. Well, this, um, the first battle was easy to do so, but the second battle is not gonna be easy. Yeah, because then. People named like David Robson come up, and I just don't think anyway. We go, we'll discuss it. <laughs> and, and and the conspiracy theory, Patrick Ewing. Patrick, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and I and then and then now Charles and Carl, maybe they can jump in on the on right. The they might can make it because Patrick is the reason that he didn't make the first one was just because if he had won a championship, I like Patrick. He carried New York. He just. Yeah. Never got over the hump. He just played at the wrong time. And sometimes that's the story of your life. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's move on to our top five. Indeed, coaches. It's time for the top five. Coaches slash managers is how I put it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have no managers on my list. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I have one. And it's basically, 
it's more bias on on the area of where I grew in the time I grew up in. So anyway, do uh, you want to go first or you want me to go first? Mm-mm, you know it's your job to start us off. got you. All right. My top five coaches and managers, I got Phil Jackson, mm-hmm. uh, Coach K, Mike Krzyzewski, mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Bill Belichick. Bill. Um, oh, okay. He from Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, okay. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> and as much as I, I uh, did not want to do it, I put Nick Saban on there because you cannot deny the success he's had. And my last one is going to be a wild card because maybe – well, T said she didn't have no manager, so she's not gonna have this man. But Bobby Cox, yeah, the Atlanta Braves manager from the I remember 90. Bobby having yes. great success. Bobby had one only one World Series, but a bunch of different pennants in a row, and and just had su- sustained success throughout his career. You know, he he might not have won a World Series every year, but he played for a couple, of, and you know, was always in contention. And he had Atlanta rocking and rolling with Chipper Jones and. John, uh, John Smoltz, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin. I feel like you've been so disrespectful, Brian. I thought we would have another match, but he let me down. Well, I, uh-uh, want, I, don't I, try, hear I tried not to have too many matches. No, no, no. No, that so, ain't the point of this, is not to have matches. <laughs> so let's hear your top. Okay. I had Phil Jackson. That was easy. Mm-mm-mm. Eddie Robinson. Very good. Grambling great. Very good coach. Y'all didn't yes. see that coming, did you? Um, no, I did not, but that was a not. very good one. They have a nice little <laughs> a nice little shrine to him over at Grambling that I visited when I was working at Louisiana Tech. That yes, Grambling great. Uh, Jill Ellis. I don't know who that is. Jill oh. Ellis won oh. World Cup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First to win two. Besides, it's one other guy that has two. Um, but she's the first woman, obviously. Uh, and she had a bunch of winning streaks as the women's soccer coach. Yeah, you ain't know I was pulling that out, my man. My, I wasn't ready for that one. Jill Ellis, y'all weren't ready. Um, John Thompson, first black to win an NCAA tournament. Um, and somebody would argue, oh, it's a been better coaches. Well, whatever. This is my list. Impact. Last, His impact can't be denied on what he's done. Last. But not least, Pat Head Summit. I can't believe you didn't put it on your list. I'm so I'm disappointed at you right now. I know that you didn't show some love to to Pat Head Summit. I Most knew people that you would... Pat Head Summit. <laughs> I, and the reason I did not because I knew that you mm-hmm. would have. Uh, you hear this, people? Was, no, no, Y'all hear this? Because she's right. She she's always going to be at the top of mind. But come on, I tried not to. I tried to steer away from women's um, basketball. The, my honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Wooden, of course, easy. Another good one, yeah. Um, and Pat Riley, mm-hmm. of course, he'll like. <laughs> well, and he would have had honestly, he probably would have had more championships had he not coached the Knicks during Michael Jordan's run. You know, yeah, that's who they kept running to. And, you know, the the time he had, the, the time that he didn't have Michael to deal with, he had OJ running around on TV. So that's you know. a miss. So yeah, I I I I thought we would have two matches, but you let me down. Uh, I can't believe I you didn't put Pat Summon on your. I'm Pat so disappointed is, with you right now. Pat there. is is there's no need to put her. She's always on the list. Okay, the, the, for me, and and that, that's speaking straight from the heart. She's always on the list. I know who ain't gonna be on my list. I don't care if he. Gino will. will never make my list. He can do Thank whatever you. he want to do, and y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. Yes. If that, Call if it wasn't for Pat Summer, he wouldn't even be thought of. He wouldn't have probably even got into this game. Yeah. You can call me biased over, and that's fine. I am. I I, I will never put him on my list. I just, yeah, he ain't gonna never yeah. make mine either. He uh, I just had too many encounters with him that were unpleasant and and interesting to love people. I don't know. I I've met Pat. Um. You she you might think oh she airing or whatever she really chill, she really cool. She's been I always been very nice to me and literally don't probably don't remember my first name ever, but she always called me by my last name every time I saw her. So, okay. <laughs> yes. So 
the fact that she took is you know to be who she is and where she is in life and she would remember my first name was always something that struck me yeah, and she, she really could be chill. The, the you know the meanest and person she'd be looking like like mean person on the sideline but yeah and i'm but sure uh, her players would be like well she could go <laughs> off and practice but <laughs> other than that yeah so so yeah that was that's my my good job brian that's except, good, except you let Pat. Yeah, on I, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. But yeah, that was good. I never, I never thought about Ella. That that was a good one. That that one hit me. Y'all don't know. I had to give the women some love. Yes, that was a very. Because I almost pulled out. Um, is it Vivian? St- Vivian? See Vivian Stringer. Yeah. Um. She what, was that Rutgers? Am I making that up? Not very Rutgers, young. and then she was at Cheney State before then. Yeah, she, went, yeah. she had some good runs. Um, yes, there's a lot. That that list was hard. That list was very hard to put together. I was biased towards John uh, John Thompson because when I heard how Georgetown didn't even want him to come and play for him, they were like, "No, we don't. We don't want black people paying for us." Then. Some years down the road, it's like, oh, can you come and coach this team? <laughs> You're like, what? You, you, what? I wanted to play for y'all just some years back. Now you want me to coach? Yeah, we do. We need a black coach. <laughs> yeah, and his impact on different players that he coached, that the, the stories that they tell, and you know, you hear this with a lot of coaches, but just the stories that you hear about him, especially upon his death, not that you know, not that long ago that we spoke about. Um, just that's that's special. That that's how coaching should be remembered. You know, that's how they should be remembered. And the- okay, um, um, this this is just gonna be off the top of your head. We going with a, this is a speed round of no preparation. Top five crazy moments in NBA history. The Malice in the Palace. DeAndre Jordan. Oh, when they were trying to get him to sign with the- <laughs> When they had him trapped inside the hotel. Was it the hotel or his house out in Dallas? They had they barricaded him in. World. Yes, they did. Okay, yes. that's two. That's two. Um I got another one if you Go ahead, I'm thinking. The crazy way that man broke that dude's face because he thought somebody was finna attack him. I can't remember what play it was. It was a fight. He turned around and I, and I almost killed a dude. He crushed oh, his face. Oh, oh, uh, Rudy Tomjanovich when he yes. got when he got his face busted up. I can't think of the yeah. player's name, but yes, Rudy T. Yeah, he he got his face all messed up. Bless his heart. And you can see I've actually met him in person, and you can see the scars and things from the reconstructive surgery. Still on his face. Still on his face. Mm. Didn't know that's what it was because I was I didn't pay I didn't know about the fight until years after I had met him. But once I realized he was the one that got got smacked up across the face. Yes, yes, that's a good one. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. NBA. Um, you could list any time Michael and the Pistons played each other. There was always some craziness happening. When Bill caught right now, Isaiah Thomas got after each other. That was hilarious. That was more funny than than crazy, just because you see little bitty Isaiah and Running. Bill Cartwright's old butt swinging. Okay, at my him. my next one then is, um, I want to was it Orlando when um Jackson Stu not Stu Stan what's his name to do the uh, commentating with Mark Jackson Van Gundy? Jeff, you remember when that Jeff, fight Jeff, when Jeff, Jeff Van Gundy out there yeah. trying to grab what's kind of out of leg with that fight? Yeah, that was um, uh, was it Orlando and um, it was Miami and New York. Miami, okay. He I was an assistant like it, on Pat Riley's staff. He had he man. had uh, a guns on morning by the ankles. Yes, man. When he out there in that suit on the ground trying to hold somebody, I'm done. I'm you so see, done. That's hilarious. Oh gosh. Kobe and, speaking of the Nick, Kobe and Chris Childs, when they got after each other, there was some real that punches thrown in there. Yeah. yeah. They, they had like they oh, fight. Not, Sacramento Kings, uh, Doug Christie and Ray Fox and Pretty Ricky. 
Freddie Ricky got the when they, one. Remember when they made each other the tunnel? They got thrown out the game. Oh, man. Lord, yes. And, yes. Catch me outside. Yeah. <laughs> Me outside. It, speaking of locker rooms, uh, when Chris Paul and them went through the tunnel of the Clippers, went through the the, yeah. the other locker room because they knew how to sneak into the door. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, I think the uh, and I guess the DeAndre Jordan one didn't happen on the court, but it happened in the NBA. That's and still I funny though. Just was like, bruh, because how, they were breaking news. Step what are we by step doing? That. Right. We have got this man kidnapped in here so he don't sign this country. The NBA world was stuck on Dallas, Texas that evening. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, that was a good one. Good, good mm. speed round. Yes, that was fun. Uh, what's, what's, what's on tap for next week, Top 5? What, what you want to do? Um, let's Let's... This might be too easy, but it might not be. Let's do a top five women's basketball players. Mm. That'll be fun. We're doing college pro just all time. Yeah, all time. Mm. So more likely you if you're in college, you ain't gonna make. <laughs> well, there there was many that, that did not, you know, they were too old to play in WNBA or they were too Well, no, no, now. not that you had to be in the WNBA, just all time. Like, so oh, yeah, know, the I'm WNBA just, might not have been yeah. around. Um, Bridget Miller's sister. Okay, never mind. I'm not. Cheryl, I'm not definitely on start. the list. No, right, I'm not supposed to start my list yet, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we'll do top five. Mm, I, I got to, I got to share bias. Okay. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> Yeah, you gonna you gonna have probably a harder time than I will. So yeah, top five next week, all time women basketball players. Uh, yes. So, all right, our next topic. I had it listed on the docket. I didn't know if you still wanted to mm-hmm. dive into it. I do want to talk about incarceration. In okay, case, well, though. kick it, kick it out for us. So, what is so for some reason states have decided because I don't think this is a federal mandate. States decide if you have committed a felony you cannot vote you lose your right to vote even if you've done the time that the jury or the judge has said this is the time that you have to pay for your crime um i don't know why this thing like if you told me five years i i, I do five years of not being around my family friends being locked up with a bunch of strangers my movement control. And after that five years, I should come back out a, a citizen with all my rights. I shouldn't lose my right to vote. For some reason... And because you, you, you are repopulated back into society, so you should be able to act as, as such. But then I, I lose my right to vote, and then with all these new measures that, that Clinton and all them put in, I can hardly survive because Sometimes I've lost my right to get government assistance, government housing. A lot of jobs not going to hire me. So how is it that I'm going to be integrated back into society? Is that really, really a thing? Not. Exactly. You just gonna wind up I don't know right that y'all really in. want me back into society. And don't you don't want me to be a productive citizen. Because I guess it's, it's more lucrative for you for me to to fill up these prisons beds that y'all pay for okay I'm rambling but no, these I prison mean, beds that y'all have to keep full because you got these private contractors there's like if it ain't 80% full then y'all gotta pay us who says that you know what Brian if we gonna build this stadium and if y'all can't get 80% of people to come to these games y'all gonna have to pay us ain't nobody saying, gonna agree to that they not saying that now <laughs> not in the day of COVID can you imagine how many people will be on somebody because these stadiums out here empty? <laughs> Don't worry, Trump gonna bail y'all out. You keep waiting, uh, keep waiting on that. <laughs> Good luck. He already nah. what well, he owes somebody four hundred some twenty one million dollars, something crazy. That's what we know of that he owe. <laughs> right. 
I, I just, for me, it's too easy to, it's, just, it's, it's too easy to understand that people, they've done their time. They, they did what the courts told them they had to do. They should be able to be a functioning member of society upon their release. But many of them, because of the way things are in place, and I'm glad you brought up what Clinton put in, because there have been so many times where I think where people have told me that we kind of are always bashing the Republican side. Oh, the Democrats ain't mind. been uh, uh uh. We so, that, they we just talking about them because they in office now. Don't yeah. don't you worry. Democrats been out here uh running a file of what we like to see. But and to say all that, they when you come out of, I mean, it's it's just that that's why you see so many tales of people going right back in because of the way the system is brought up is set up for them to go right back into the you know right back into the prison system it's awful yeah um so i and then you got states like florida now this is coming back to the gop this is coming back to them because they as a group of citizens in that state said yes we should give our felons the right to vote again they put it on the ballot. The people spoke. 60 plus percent said yes. GOP said, nope, we don't want 1.5 million or whatever it was, 1.4 million of y'all out here able to vote potentially for the Democrats. We're going to say you can only do that if you pay all your fines and fees. Another way to get people back in jail, all the fines and fees. And, and there is no one one place I can go to find out how what what I owe and to whom. So then they make it double hard. Like I gotta go digging around, be like, how much money I owe you? <laughs> Who wants to run into uh, the the courthouse or the the police department talking about how much money I owe y'all so I can get my right to vote back? Because they can say anything you don't know. Yeah. So it's just atrocious. I mean, I, I'm I'm one of those that you know kind of frequents the jail docket uh, down here, and just to kind of just just on a whim. You when you know that people have been locked up that you know before, you you just go and see. You know, I wonder what they're doing now. I wonder they still in and out, and more more often than not, they're still in and out of jail because of. And you'll see on there, you fail you to pay this, or fail you to pay that, and you know it's not necessarily the original reason they were in there, maybe it was like a drug charge or something or whatever. It's not necessarily that anymore. It's it's failure to pay their fees, the fines that they owed. They're right back in jail because of that. Let me tell you, this system is bad. Have you watched Chicago Seven? Haven't, but it's you on need my to list. Check that out. It's on the list. That's good. You should you should check that out. Cause I was like, this system is just bad. Uh then I have you ever wa- listened to the podcast Serial? No, but that's one that people tell me all the time I need to uh, check out. I haven't. It's going to be yet. depressing. I could. I had to stop listening. Oh my. Uh huh. I had to stop. I was just like, "Bruh, uh, I can't do this no more." <laughs> yeah, people said it is bad. The, the man, man that judge, the way he was talking to that young man, I was like, <coughs> sir, you are using all of the racist tropes and stuff that they say about black people and black men. Mm-hmm. And I was like, can you get to why him still in this car and, and what the rules is and whatever they brought you and not ask him all about all this other stuff? And so uh, I was just like, I had to stop listening to it because I was like, I can't listen to this. Then the woman in the bar in a club. Now we don't went away from that. Now we moved on, people. Anyway, the woman in the club, <laughs> and she gets hit on the butt four or five times by some strange man that she has told to stop. Mm-hmm. The next thing she wound up in a a fight at a in the bar. You know when you, and it's it's her and her friend. The rest of the people in there like or or she they don't really frequent the place. Mm-hmm. According to her and the friend. I don't know how they wind up there, but anyway, 
Next thing you know, according to the lady this this because it's a podcast, so obviously you can't see it, but she's watching the video and explaining like the next thing you know, you really can't see her. Like the crowd is around her and they it's tussling, hair pulling, all that. So when the officer comes up, at some point he gets hit by her. Now, if you in a fight, you don't know who grabbing you. He grabs her. So then she wind up with a felony charge of hitting a, a peace officer, as they called it. <laughs> I was like, oh, peace officer, gosh. what is that? Um, he telling her, I'm not gonna charge you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna file charges. I it did. I was like, why are you taking her to jail then? If you know she, because he's like, I know that was an accident. Why are you even making this, like, going there? And then, so people's like, oh, the man didn't do it. But then they was lying because that one person she interviewed, he said, oh, well, we really didn't know him. Well, why are you lying for him? Then if they had even bothered to watch the videotape before taking her to jail, they would have saw that he had hit her like four or five times on the butt. And she had like, was like, stop. And so... She goes to jail. She about to get a felony. Oh. Because the DA said that they didn't care that it was a mistake, basically. <laughs> and I was just like, I can't. I cannot. Hey, that is the out. worst. And you're right. I'll probably be mad just like you. It is. And when you watch Chicago 7, you'll just be like, what? What, what are we yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting that this week. I, I already had it in my list and just hadn't got into it yet. I really haven't been watching TV since, since uh, the, uh, other than a little bit of football here and there. Well, yeah, you it'll do you better because you get all riled up. Mm-hmm. You should stay away from TV for until November fourth. <laughs> that was my reason. Well, yeah. actually, you got you can you can't even watch November fourth because I don't know when this crazy gonna end. Yeah, it don't look um, like it's gonna end election night. <laughs> so you <laughs> might have like, to go ahead and get on Netflix and watch watch that and watch and I'm pubbing this for everybody. Watch Chicago Seven. Watch. I think it's called Sneakerhead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sneakerhead. So uh, oh, you saw Sneakerhead? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. watch Sneakerhead. I enjoyed that. Mandalorian yeah. season two coming out Friday. That's another Lord, one. Lord, y'all, I still ain't seen the uh, the five of the. I need to call the person that's got the code and be like, "Hey, let me hold something." <laughs> hey, let me uh, hold something. So season two of that coming out. Uh, we getting more and more. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to getting some Marvel stuff. I hope they just go ahead. I understand they want to make their money, but I wish they just go ahead and release Black Widow to uh, to video on demand. Right. Um, and then Falcon and the Winter Soldier wrapping up filming. Uh, WandaVision is supposed to be coming out in December. Spider-Man. I'm still on the fence about that one, Brian. I, I find myself struggling a little bit. What are you struggling with? Um, WandaVision. Yeah, I I want to like it, but then I'm not sure. It's gonna be it's gonna be different, and I think it's gonna be the the show that actually brings us into the next phase of things because I think it's gonna have a lot of uh, multiverse hopping and. But I think it's gonna be what opens the multiverse because Spider Man's supposed to supposed to basically have different versions of Spider Man showing up. It's gonna be like a live action of the cartoon version. Um, and then Doctor Strange is coming, which would be well. I, I cool wish one. he come on, uh, because I've been waiting for the second one. Please don't be like the uh, what you call it, like the. <laughs> Incredibles, please, please hopefully don't let me down. Is, hopefully, this one is is either as good or better than the original. So, but let's see. I think that's all I got on on. Oh, this is us for people that watch. This is us coming out tonight. Look, I had on my notes coming out Tuesday, but it's Tuesday now because I overslept Monday. So, uh, China's fault. All China's fault. Oh take, Lord, that's hilarious. I take full responsibility in China's fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, go out and vote, people. 
Uh, we'll, we'll be back next Monday. But remember, you got your provisional through. ballot if they start tripping. Yeah. Oh, a lot you of one eight six six vote our vote. If you have problems, call one eight six six our o u r vote v o t e. If you having problems, and that is supposed to be able to help you, somebody should be able to help you with whatever and tell you what how to proceed if you are having issues. Yes. So um yeah, there that there's um I had a bunch of people reach out, young people either my age or younger, saying that they appreciated you talking about the provisional ballots. A lot of folks that are in that realm of uh, area of expertise. They appreciate you bringing it up last well, week. Well, good, y'all. I didn't know it was a thing. I'm glad I found out, even though I don't need one. But <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know that was a thing. And again, send all your purple and gold bias hate mail to uh, <laughs> the Mac. And hey, it's the a Mac bunch of Lakers out there. Don't you worry. Ain't that yeah. much coming. The email address in the uh, in the bio in the in the in the, in the show description bar. Send all your hate mail to T for removing Charles Barkley and uh, Carmen. I don't Long. think that many people gonna be sad. <laughs> no, nah, I, I think they're gonna be okay with it. Uh, but as always, I'm one of your hosts, Brian McKay, and I am with T. Go out and vote, Davis. And this has been the Mac and T Show podcast. Thank you for listening. This is the Mac and T Show. This is the Mac and T Show. We talk movies and TV shows. Sports and world news. Coasting like on a world cruise. Hosted by Brian McKay and T. Davis. Yeah. You can't tame us. We're going to the top of becoming famous. What time is it? It's time for the Mac and T Show. What time is it? I said it's time for the Mac and T Show.